I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Greg. Have a great webinar, everybody. Okay. Well, I love the, the title of this webinar because it addresses change makers. And I think there's nothing better than actually bringing about positive change. So I, I, you know, I, I love the title and the fact that we can offer courses to um, help uh, all of you that are change makers, you know, uh, make it happen. Um, so uh, let me um, go and, um, you know, tell you, you know, there's, you know, a few things here about, you know, our housekeeping, but uh, since I'm uh, starting this off, usually there's somebody else that, you know, helps me, but today we, we are juggling a couple of other live courses, so I'll, I'll do it myself. And so about how to engage, there's going to be some questions and uh, you can use a Q&A feature uh, in Zoom. Uh, and uh, you can uh, also, you know, you know, correspond via uh, yeah, email and uh, you know, make sure that uh, we do interact in whichever ways uh, you see, you know, fit for yourself. And the closed caption is available for those that need it. So yeah, a little bit later, we're going to have um, Shuya and Sabamech and Shuya, Shu and Sabamech and join us. Uh, they are, you know, true experts at that, you know, what they do. Uh, Shuya is a PhD in instructional design. You know, I, I can say it, you know, because uh, uh, you know, she's a little bit shy. I see they didn't import her sheet and they put the title, but not you know, her degree. She's a true expert at instructional design. And you're going to see that reflected in this presentation and the things, uh, you know, how are, we measure things and how we, we build the courses and so forth. And Sava has a lot of experience, you know, managing operations. We're really happy to have her. We're going to go through, um, you know, the, you know, the introduction to text of courses and how do we you know, uh, produce collaborative training and uh, why do we do it the way we do it, uh, as well as you know, you know, how do we measure the you know, success of, of what we do. And, uh, and then we'll show you the upcoming you know, topics and we'll have a few minutes for any questions that remain. So I'll go through the introduction of the you know, Tech Soup Courses program which has been around for some time now. Uh, and it's focused on you know, digital you know, transformation, making nonprofits resilient. And sometimes you need you know, a, a support, because you know, TechSoup offers a lot of technology, but sometimes you need training and support you know, to, to be able to use that technology efficiently and effectively. And so, and to be resilient, especially you know, in, you know, in light of you know, a lot of the the changes that take place, sometimes, you know, uh, natural disasters that take place. I mean, there's all kinds of things that affect nonprofits and we all need to need nonprofits to be resilient. So that's, you know, the focus of what we do. We're gonna have um, a little poll that was planned here. There it is, you know, popping up. So if you can answer the questions you have taken, Text of course, and I can see that uh, there's a few people that have. I'm surprised, so, you know, there's quite a few people that have. That's great. And um, and for those that don't, you know, this is a great opportunity to uh, actually. Um, I think we stop sharing that because you know, we can see the results. And um, yeah, let's. Hello. Um, oh, oh, Saba popped up. And so uh, Text of Courses, you know, has been around, you know, since 2017. Uh, at that time, they had very few courses. I joined TechSoup in 2019, and we still had quite a few courses. Since then, we had a huge growth. We have over 200 courses uh, to, to choose from, and from the 5,000 people that we have in 2019, we're now up to over 84,000 learners that have taken courses from TechSoup. So a large number of people and taking a large number of very useful courses, all of which are created and contextualized for nonprofits. So, and, and that makes a huge difference. So what do we offer? We offer, we have live events, 
uh, which um, you know we do on a regular basis, as you know, as, you know, in a structure such as you know the the um, ask the expert, which you, you you can you know spend an hour asking questions of an expert, or we have seminars and webinars. We have on-demand training, which you can take anytime you want. So it's the, these are courses that you can actually access at will and, uh, and, and take the training. You know, we, we embed a lot of examples and exercises and, and, and things. So you're interacting with, with the course, but you're on your own, you know, like exiting whenever you want. Workshops, we, we have done, you know, quite a few work, workshops, whether live or online. Uh, micro learnings is because we have some videos and guides and manuals that you can access and then blended you know programs which are you know very very successful and people really like some of our um, you know blended courses you know meaning by blended that they have a combination of online activities and live sessions with an instructor and we'll tell you more about those those are you know, some that are really really exciting we have large uh, coverage of topics as you can see, we're covering everything from you know, technology planning to strategizing to project management. We have grant writing, um, you know, all, all kinds of things, email marketing, social media marketing. Um, so you know, a large number of topics. So what I'm pointing out to you is go to our catalog and we'll give you the, the, the address later and take a look and see and it, it is a long scroll down because it's 200 and some courses but uh, you you'll find uh, not only things that might be useful to you but also um, things that are incredibly affordable and some even free so you, you can look through our catalog and see the online um, uh, blended training format uh, you know, we're going to address it here and I see that Shuya and Saba are both in, so I'm going to give them a chance to uh, say hello and join us and uh, take over their parts whenever they are ready. Uh, so Saba and Shuya, want to say hello? Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. So Shuya, do you want to take this, you know, on from, from this part or? Uh, uh, yeah, sure, I can. Uh, thank you, Gray. Um, sorry, everyone. Uh, um, and I uh, are a little bit late because we just came from uh, one of our blended uh, course sessions. Um, so, um, so for this type of training that we are offering, it usually lasts for for uh, four to eight weeks. Uh, most typical length is six weeks for us. So uh, we have instructor-led online uh, live sessions and also on-demand learning content for you to finish um, outside of the live sessions. It's usually designed with the project in mind uh, throughout the course. So um, after six weeks or eight weeks, you'll be able to finish a bigger broad project. And the project is usually broken down into smaller pieces, smaller tasks for you to um, complete each week. Um, and uh, those are accompanied with worksheets and hand handouts for you to um, make um, actions easier. Um, in these courses, we have or uh, we are working with very experienced nonprofit experts who have um, um, very rich experience in their um, subject area. Also, a lot of experience um, teaching online, so they are able to engage the learners, engage audience um, during the session and also in the uh, discussion forum, as you can see from uh, the engagement way, uh, methods here. So um, even if um, you um, have some questions uh, or want to share your work after the live session, you can do that in the discussion forum. It's a great place to share work with others. And uh, we also see a lot of um, interactions between the learners and even networking um, happening between the learners in, in our community of practice. Um, next slide, please. So um, we're using a, 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 a process called Eddy to develop our training. It's usually, um, it's based on an analysis of who our learners are, what 
uh, your need might be and what your preferences might be for, for this um, topic area. And so then we design uh, our instructions and the materials based on that and develop everything um, and put them onto our learning platform and launch the course. Uh, and also uh, at the end of the instructions, we will have evaluations to see how the learning was going on, um, how the out outcome was. So we aim at behavior change and um, that's, um, I think we will have um, a little bit more information uh, for, for our uh, aim at the behavior change and long-term impact um, in the following slide. Yeah, so before diving into um, our, how, how we develop the training and uh, how uh, we measure uh, the effectiveness, effectiveness of our training, I would like to show you uh, two examples of the blended learning courses. Uh, Greg, could you let me share my screen? Sure. So I can show you, uh, show them um, our platform. Okay, so the first one is called AI for Good, uh, how to get started with AI for nonprofits. That just happened a couple of months ago. Um, um, the, the AI technology is emerging um, this year and from last year actually. So um, we feel, um, the nonprofit audience needs some navigation through this rapid change. And we're lucky to um, have two experts from Roundtable Technology to teach this course to our nonprofit audience. This is a six week course. Um, the topic covered in this course ranges from um, how you understand the AI, how to utilize it, um, how to um, prompt, engineer, uh, create the prompts for you to get results from the generative AI. And um, uh, there's also a lot of examples of real world application of different AI tools. Um, uh, one special thing about this course is um, the instructors ha have invited uh, quite a few guest experts in the field who are either developer, um, I think most of them are developer of AI tools to share their insights into um, the AI, AI world and also show the reward applications. And there's also discussions about uh, organizational policies regarding AI risks, risks and other considerations. And it ended with a very exciting Shark Tank um, it, uh, the so-called Shark Tank is um, kind of a workshop where everyone creates their own pitch deck of how to implement a tangible small AI project in their organization and get feedback from their peers. So um, in, for each week, um, for example, for week one, there is usually a warm-up discussion happening before the live session. And after you uh, start thinking about something uh, on this week's topic, you go to the live session. In the live session, you'll hear uh, the presentations from the instructors about um, the content and uh, also a lot of interactions and discussions about um, some um, um, practical questions. Um, and um, for, for week one, um, there's, um, assignments like uh, practice activities for you to start. The first step is to sign up for those tools, of course, so you can start uh, using them. And um, um, so the second activity is actually a part of the bigger project. Um, you identif identify the problems you would like to solve with AI tools. This is a kind of brainstorm. So you can um, later pick one and think about how to actually implement it and then develop it into a pitch deck, uh, like you would uh, put uh, like an uh, elevator pitch where you introduce um, the project in five minutes to others um, and uh, get feedback. Uh, also there are um, 
places for you to ask questions and um, resources, additional resources, if you would like to um, take the learning to a more depth, um, uh, in depth. Um, so this is week one and then uh, similar for uh, the other weeks. Um, and uh, very likely uh, we may um, offer this course again in the coming uh, year because the AI world is changing very fast. Um, so if you are interested, you can stay tuned for that. Um, and the second example I would like to show you is the one that is running now, the one that we just came from. Um, it's data analytics for nonprofit staff, how to uh, leverage your data for action. Uh, this course, uh, we're working with a um, data expert from Netherlands, um, Rick from um, Digital Power Data Hub. So this course is about how to um, think of the whole data process for your organization and implement it for the measurement you would like to have. Um, so it also, it's also a six week course. You start, you will go through the whole uh, uh, data um, approach called decal methodology. Decal means define, collect, uh, analyze, and then leverage. So each week you'll go through one step of that process and you'll have some um, activities or worksheets for you to um, complete. So you finish uh, the whole planning process um, one step at a time. Uh, for this week, we are in, uh, in week one for, as an introduction to the whole course and the whole process. And people start with um, look at the key questions um, for their organization. And also, um, so after the session, um, the learners will start um, the first step of defining um, in the worksheet. So this is the worksheet that uh, you, uh, you can download and work on. There are different columns um, representing the uh, representing each step. Define and define KPIs will be the first week, uh, first step for week one and week two, and um, you'll go uh, all the way to the end uh, uh, leverage. And we also have some um, pre-session preparation work to do, um, like for example for. Week two, before week two, um, the learners will um, watch some video instructions and do small practices beforehand so they can bring that to the live session for discussion. We also have the discussion forum for people to share their uh, work or ask any questions, also additional resources for, uh, for the learning. So this is the two examples I want to share. And uh, I would like to go back to the slide. So uh, Greg, do you want to share again or should I go on with my slide? Go ahead and go with yours. If you're steering, you know, that, that's fine. If, okay. you, if you prefer me to steer, that's, that's good as well. I have it open, so I'll take it. From go ahead, go ahead. Um, let me change a desktop. So um, about the effect effectiveness and uh, benefits of this type of learning that we are offering, um, I would like to share that um, at, um, we are receiving a lot of good uh, feedback from all our, our learners. They find it uh, very uh, helpful, useful. And, um, and engaging. Um, 
we that our aim is to not only help our learners feel you have learned something during the training, but also after the training, even months after that, you will be able to remember what you have learned and be able to really apply that to your work and have see some long-term impact. That is, um, we keep that in mind when we design the instructions and also when we evaluate the learning outcome, we um, design our approach around that aim. Um, for all our courses, we are doing the traditional course evaluations, see how you are satisfied with it and how much you have learned. And for selected courses, we are also doing a more extensive uh, ev evaluation um, called Kirkpatrick evaluation uh, that requires um, follow-up after um, a few months or even uh, a couple of years to see how people are applying everything and um, is there any uh, more uh, bigger, broader benefits seen by the organizations. So um, this Kirkpatrick framework aims at um, the more uh, lower level of immediate reaction uh, to our uh, course, uh, their learning experience in the course, and also how much they have learned right after the course. And then level three and level four behavior change and uh, the organizational results are the long-term um, evaluation, long-term follow-up follow -up that I was just talking about. So um, this is, an, data for all our uh, blended learning courses since 2021. So we're seeing uh, in terms of the reaction, the satisfaction to our um, experience, people feel, most people feel that uh, the training was worth their time and they liked the structure and format of the course and they felt the training activities were engaging. Um, so we have two additional questions. Are, do, uh, how useful will this course be to your work? and uh, the rating is pretty good, uh, 2.57 out of three. So people are feeling this is pretty useful um, and they are very inclined to recommend the course to their colleague. Um, the rating is 4.22 uh, out of five. And um, at level two, um, learning outcomes, uh, how much they have learned out of the training. Um, we are measuring the, their confidence level for each learning objectives before and after the course. So a comparison of each individual learners uh, of their um, pre and post course ratings of one learning objective, the average is um, they have improved from, I can do this, but need help to I can do this on my own or, or some are feeling I'm really good at doing this. So this means that um, our course are able to help them achieve the things they want to learn. And at, at level three behavior and level four um, organizational results, uh, we are we haven't done uh, the that that follow up evaluation for our blended courses, but we have done that for our um, on demand self paced on demand course. So this is an example from one of the uh, on-demand courses that we evaluated. Um, we, uh, this, that's for the Excel course series. We are, um, I think it's after one year, um, uh, after people have taken the course, we followed up with them uh, through survey and interviews and asked them, um, do, do they see any change uh, of their, uh, work in terms of efficiency and effectiveness, and is there any change in their use of using in their use of the uh, Excel software? And we are seeing quite positive results. Even after a year, people remember what they've learned, and they are actually using that. And this this is some additional comments uh, regarding the changes they see. So they are seeing um, um, using the tool every day. Um, um, be hands-on and um, I think more interestingly, um, prompt a curiosity for them to um, pursue further learning and they would like to go deeper into the in, into this topic area. So um, with that, 
Um, I think this is for Saba, so I'll hand over to Saba for topics covered. Thank you. Uh, Shuya, you're going to share your screen or you want me to share one? You are muted, Shuya. Um, uh, what do you prefer? You can you can just continue. We have a few more minutes left, uh -huh. if that's okay. My screen has been acting a little funny today, as you saw previously. <laughs> All right. So our topics, uh, as Shuya uh, shared earlier, we've had uh, we've talked to you a little about our AI for Good course and our data analytics course. But besides those, we ran some other interesting uh, courses as well, and some of those topics were around cybersecurity and data privacy. Uh, nonprofit website strategy, social media um, uh, marketing, becoming a tech forward fundraiser and choosing the right tech for nonprofits. And we have a few more planned for the rest of the year as well. I'll share those topics uh, in the next few slides. Can we go to the next slide, please? All right, so uh, we talked a little about the data analytics course. Today was the first session. It was just an introductory session. Uh, it happened just an hour before uh, this meeting started. So that's where Shuya and I were. And I think Shuya has talked quite a lot already about the course. I just want to put it up here as to what you're going to learn from the course. And um, in the chat as well, I put in the link in case you're interested to join the course. We do have a $100 discount running, especially for attendees of this webinar that's going on right now. So if you are interested, it's not too late. It's easy to catch up uh, on the session because the sessions are recorded and we will share, we share the recording with uh, all the participants. So you can catch up on the recording um, and if you'd like to join. Uh, over to the next slide. Our next course uh, that we have coming up, I'll show you over to the next slide, please. Yeah, Think Like a Designer. This is the course which uh, we're going to be using some of um, Adobe tools uh, in this course. And our expert, uh, Kara, is the one that has also worked with us and developed some of the other on-demand courses for Adobe. So here, uh, of, oftentimes, uh, you know, we work in nonprofits that are fairly small in size and we're all playing uh, multiple roles. And uh, this course, I think, helps with that because uh, oftentimes we find ourselves uh, designing communication for our organization. And there are certain design principles that you might be uh uh, that one must keep in mind when designing these communications and how is it that you can use uh, some of the Adobe products that are easily available to everyone to uh, come up with, uh, you know, a design that is appealing and that catches your audience uh, is I. So this is what we're going to be talking about in the course. And um, that starts on August 16th. Again, there is a hundred dollar discount for that course as well. Um, I uh, saw someone message in the chat about the AI course. And uh, yes, we can, uh, we don't have dates yet. So, but whenever we do, we can post it on our special offers tab and you can see where, when that's going to be available. Over to the next slide. After, after this course, we have a, um, a course which is coming up on uh, technology strategy. The experts on this course are the same uh, that ran our AI course. So definitely a course uh, that we highly recommend you join in case you're part of the tech team within your organization, or if you are uh, thinking about uh, thinking about that, you're already in the planning stage. Some of, some of the nonprofits are already in the planning stage for that for uh, the coming fiscal. So you can equip yourself with tools to ensure that there's alignment between technology and what the mission of your organization are, what you currently have, uh, what are the strengths and weaknesses, and how do you use uh, technology to be able to take your nonprofit to the next level. So this course starts on September 12th, and we have a $100 discount running for that. And our next course is uh, around uh, Asana. And uh, we're going to use Asana uh, to help nonprofits with the uh, project management practices and how you can 
take uh, projects and programs to the next level. And we are going to be discussing how Asana specifically can help with that. And uh, there are features in Asana that one can use and how you can practice with our experts using all of those features and flows and, uh, you know, planning your project and structuring your team. Uh, all of that can be done within Asana. So basically, if, if you are someone that collaborates a lot uh, within the organization or outside of the organization, even with volunteers, this is a course that you will definitely find helpful. And uh, this course starts on September 14th. Uh, it's a five-week course, not a six-week course. It's a five-week course. And uh, again, you can use uh, the $100 off for this course. Um, so we hope to see you in all of our programs or at least one or two of them. Uh, over to the next slide. Uh, and we shared with you some of the courses that we are uh, already planning, already in the works. Uh, we'd love to hear from you uh, what topics you'd be interested in. Uh, Aretha, if you can launch our Zoom poll and you can select all of the topics that apply. Uh, Aretha, could you launch our poll, please? You know what? I'm so sorry. I, I had the wrong one. That's why I launched the other poll, so I didn't get this no one. Worries. Out, guys. You guys no can chat. You can put it in chat, uh, or you can just, uh, yeah, just put it in chat, and we'll pick it up from there. I know quite a few are interested in AI already, and uh, we'd love from uh, to hear from you if you're interested in uh, our other courses as well. Or, to, or if you see a topic that interests you and is not mentioned here, you're welcome to put that as well in chat. So I saw someone put in AI uh, about data as well. And uh, yeah. I did put the question on the poll. So, I mean, on the survey. So when they close the window, the survey will pop up. Great. Oh, nice. AI, I see social media marketing, fundraising technology. Yes, that's quite something. Website development, yes. Um, we do have some website development. We do have some on-demand courses. And for project management as well, we do have some on-demand courses. So these are not live six-week trainings, but these are mostly an hour to hour trainings already on our catalog. Uh, and then, yes, of course, when we offer these um, six-week workshops as well, uh, you can come for that. Actually, for project management, we will be having our six-week course coming up, uh, if I'm not wrong, in October. And uh, so that's also, I think, already on our catalog listing. So you are welcome to enroll in that as well. That, is, that does also have a $100 off uh, running right now. Fundraising technology, how to use volunteers and students. Yeah, that's quite an interesting topic. Um, Deb, AI for nonprofits, uh, building an LLM, accessibility and inclusion via tech. Oh, that's a nice one. Accessibility and inclusion via, via, via tech, yes. Large language model, yeah. Um, all right. Thank you guys. Thank you for the input. This is great. I see something in. Okay. I think somebody put it in Q&A as well. Uh, some of the topics. Thank you for doing that. Google Analytics. Yes. We, we have some courses which are on on-demand courses on Google Analytics. We're hoping we can either update those or offer like a 300 level course. I think that we... Um, a good topic to have as well. Thank you for your input, uh, everyone. Appreciate it. Um, lastly, I'd like to talk about group enrollment. So if any of you have a larger uh, team that wants to come for any of our courses, if it's the on-demand or our 300 level courses, feel free to reach out to us at learn at techsoup.org and we will work out a group discount for you. Um, if even if you have three people or more coming in, I'm happy to extend a discount to everyone. And uh, just so you know, we've done really large uh, enrollments as well, like up to 130, 140 staff members enrolling in courses. We can help with all of that. The advantage is that you can uh, 
plan it out in a way where a certain group or a certain team takes a certain set of courses at a particular time and then comes back to discuss how they could leverage the learnings of that course within their team. Uh, so that's one way of doing it. Uh, the other is just, you know, providing incentive and um, having your team members, you know, update their skills. Uh, any kind of learning never goes waste. So, uh, yes. Uh, then um, it also gives you flexibility in terms of on-demand courses because you can take them at your own time and at your own pace and you're not set within a certain time period uh, to be able to take it. Usually these courses are, uh, you know, uh, available for you to watch uh, for a year or more until like the content is no longer valid anymore, relevant anymore. So uh, that's that's kind of in terms of uh, flexibility and convenience of being able to take it at your own time and pace. And uh, we have over 200 courses as Gray had shared initially. So there are various topics, uh, you know, that uh, are very relevant to nonprofit staff and volunteers. And you're welcome to choose from any of those topics. Uh, and the good thing is that at the end of the course, you do get a course completion certificate. So say, for example, I am, um, you know, part of the HR team for a nonprofit. I'd like um, a certain team to have a certain skill set. Let's say Excel. We, uh, you can tell your team members to go ahead and sign up for these courses, or if you have maybe five or more, reach out to us and we'll help you with that. Have them go through the course. And at the end of the course, they get a course completion certificate. Now, it's, it, it, our courses are not one that you just keep clicking and keep progressing. There are assignments built in. Uh, you know, we check your understanding. There are activities in some of the courses that you do. So, so you know that they're going through the course and um, at the end of it, they get a certificate, which then they can submit to me as the HR person. So I know that they've completed the course and have an understanding of the course. So that's how our courses are built. Um, and so you can reach out to our team if you need any sort of help with any courses, um, you know, for group enrollments. Shuri, can you move on to the next slide? Saba, before before we we you know, you know, wrap up, I, yeah. I wanted to mention that we are in the process of publishing the Google Ad Grants guide. Yes. So it's, it's not all courses. Sometimes we have nice little tools like the guide, and um, and many nonprofits don't realize that they can get up to ten thousand dollars a year's worth of Google advertising, mm -hmm. and uh, so they can get the guide and see if they qualify. And if you do, it's it's worth ten thousand bucks for your nonprofit in worth of advertising in Google. So yeah. I would encourage you to look at that guide um, and see if your nonprofit, you know, qualifies. There's a few things you need to do with your website for your for the nonprofit. Yeah, sure. You can uh, just share my screen for a moment. I'd like to show where this is available. Mm -hmm. I just share my screen for a moment. That's that's a really nice take home. Yeah. You know, yeah, you, so this is basically our catalog. This is our mm -hmm. catalog of course offerings. And if you see under special offers and events, that's where you'll see all of our upcoming courses and the offers that we have. And the specific one that Gray was talking about, which is Google Ad Grants uh, course. Let me just show you. Uh, this is the one. It's called Google Ad Grants Guide. What are they and how to get them? And this was... I mean, we literally just had this course available, uh, you know, uh, just yesterday, actually. So it's a very quick, uh, it's it's a free guide, firstly. So everyone should read it if you're interested in getting the Google Ad Grant. It only takes 30 minutes. And, um, you know, our, our team, our instructional design team has put together uh, a very informative guide, which covers what are these uh, Ad grants, who can apply, what are the requirements you need, what are the steps you need to take before applying for these uh, grants, and how do you submit the grant application? So, definitely one that uh, you should take. We do have, you know, our video resources section here. Most, most of our um, courses available here, they are uh, free of cost. Uh, so at no cost to you, you can look at these videos and read through these guides and get information on various topics like this, a little bit about cybersecurity, there's a little bit about remote team management, 
a little about nonprofit website user experience. So definitely a lot of uh, nuggets of information that you can already get. This is about data collection. This is about, um, you know, designing, uh, designing communications. So definitely something uh, that you should explore. And again, this is on our catalog page and it's under video and resources. And then we have the special offers tab as well. So um, I think uh, I see something in Q&A. Let me read that out. Uh, question. So maybe you put the, the you know, learn address again so they know how to contact us if they have any further questions after the, this session and, and going forward, especially if they want to have group enrollments and so forth so they can reach you. It's learn at techsoup.org. No, we can't hear you, Saba. So, Gray, go ahead and um, close us out. Okay, Gray, you're on mute. Okay. So I'm not sure what happened to Saba. We 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 lost her. Um, so what I was uh, telling her was to um, uh, to finish up with uh, going to uh, our, our our address. That um, learn at um, and I, I know that a lot of other tabs are appearing. I busy guy. Uh, but um, if you have any other questions after this session or about group enrollments, about specific courses or topics, whatever you, you need, just email this address and, uh, you know, somebody in Saba's team will respond to you and, uh, with whatever questions you have, it could be about content topics and, and, and other things, and we'll be glad to answer. And I think with that, we can wrap it up. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone.